Okay. Hey everyone, I'm Captain Mays. I am joined by my former teammate and fellow content team member, Ryan Ginsberg. So. <laughs> Today we are interviewing our December 2022 Rookie of the Month. Um, so for some background, the NCDA has been recognizing rookie players that have had an impact within their team and on the court. Uh, and today we are joined by Trey Lucas from Concordia University, Wisconsin. So just to get started, Trey, congratulations on this recognition. How does it feel to be selected? Uh, feels good, you know, um, kind of new to, yeah, you know, as the award ex explains, you know, I'm Ricky, I'm new to this. So, you know, kind of feels good to know that I'm somewhat headed in the right direction, you know, uh, mm -hmm. kind of in uh, deep water and not really knowing how to swim and yeah. Just got to thank the coaches for real. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's really cool to see another CUW player being recognized. Um, and you guys are certainly in a unique position being an entirely new team. Um, yeah. What made you choose CUW? What do you study and what do you enjoy uh, most about it so far? Uh, So coming to CUW, I originally chose to play football. That's like my main sport during the fall. Um, And then yeah, ever since I got here, it's just been a fun ride, really, uh, experiencing new things such as dodgeball, having fun, meeting new people, um, especially through my major, which is sports entertainment business and marketing. So, yeah, yeah a lot of this sports as a whole, I love it. So just being able to experience new sports, different cultures, is just something I'd say great uh, joy in. Yeah, <laughs> All right, shifting into more dodgeball-related questions, uh, what made you join and uh, stick with the dodgeball club at CUW? Um, so my roommate, uh, he's also a team, uh, my one of my teammates on the dodgeball team, but he's also my teammate in football, and he had already been on the team and everything, and he had brought up the idea to me, like, hey, you ever want to try dodgeball? It's fun, you know, like, you can get out and just enjoy yourself, right? And, you know... I, I took him up on the offer one day, and ever since then, it's just been fun, you know, like just nothing but good times, really. Yeah, cool. yeah it's always a good time. Uh, did you play any other sports in high school? You already mentioned football, but were there any other sports you played, and how do you feel like those skills helped you to prepare you for dodgeball? Um, yeah, I played basketball, and I also ran track in high school. And I really think those, like, that combination of sports helped me with dodgeball because it kind of, like, I don't want to say made me more athletic in a sense, but more so like taught me how to jump into something, like jump into a new sport and gain that ground quicker. You know what I mean? Like uh, understanding like, oh, this is something I learned in basketball. I could apply this to the dodgeball court. Oh, this is something I learned in football. I could apply this. Uh, something I learned in track, I could apply this, right? And I feel like it really just helped me build my game more, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, it's definitely a unique sport, um, and most people don't come in with dodgeball experience. So, pushing uh, right. into that, what part of dodgeball has been kind of the hardest to learn? Is there something on an individual level, maybe like strategy within your team? Yeah, uh, I'd say the most difficult part. Uh, my team seems to have it down, but like for me personally, I'm still working on it. Is just kind of overall the communication of it. Like I never would have realized like how much communication really goes into dodgeball and sports I played in the past has had communication, but it's just a completely different language to me, you know? So it's like mm -hmm. trying to understand the communication, just how the game flows uh, better. That's the most difficult part for me. I'd say that I'm still working on. Yeah. So. That's definitely uh, the most successful teams in the league are the ones that communicate well. So mm -hmm. um, cool. Uh, what's something you think that's kind of led to your early success in the league? Um, maybe a certain skill that you've picked up and are there any players or teams that you might look up to? Um, Yeah. So uh, in football, I play corner and this kind of goes back to tying things from other sports into dodgeball. Uh, one thing they always told me about is watch out for crossers, right? Like watch out for crossers, make sure your head's on a swivel and everything. Right. And I play corner in football. So it's kind of like, I'm already kind of used to seeing quarterback seeing receiver at the same time seeing the whole field right having a whole vision of the whole field so it's like that was the easiest thing I'd say it was for me to translate and just you know be able to see like oh I'm looking at this player who's like pushing up on me and everything but I see a crosser halfway across the court like and he's just waiting for me to 
put myself in a vulnerable position, right? Yep. And I'm not going to lie. I looked up to Western Michigan at this last tournament we were in at their place. And, you know, just the way they communicated with each other, like, oh, this is crossers. So that way, you know, players who don't maybe have that, what's called peripheral vision down pack, like, you know, you hear somebody saying like, hey, watch cross, right? And, you know, yeah, that's just one thing I was really uh, impressed with, a uh, team I looked up to. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, and a lot of rookies in the league struggle with just having like that tunnel vision and just looking at what's in front of them, not realizing people will throw across the court. So that's definitely right. a big advantage to get early. Right. Yeah. And now that you've been in the league for a semester, which matches in the past have been the most fun to play in? And are there any teams you've seen that you'd like to play in the future? Um, I think the most fun match I ever had was probably my first one. Um, We had played against Kent, and it was – I just remember it being so fun because I got to not only experience this for the first time, but it was also like, hey, you know, I kind of had that feeling like my team was like, oh, yeah, you're doing really good. And it kind of it set like that confidence in me, like, hey, yeah, like I'm actually like I might actually have something cooking here, you know, and then just, yeah, just being able to experience my first tournament with my team and first game. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, that was something. And then I'm sorry, I forgot the second part of your question. Are there any teams that you look you look forward to playing uh, against in the future? Um, yes, definitely want to go back and play Western Michigan again. I want to play them again because I feel like uh, I'm a very competitive person, and some of the their team members, uh, it was kind of like we had that competitive drive, and you know, I I just love that what's it called, going back and forth with somebody, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's the type of energy I always want to go to, and Western Michigan was giving it to me, so yeah. Yeah. And what have been, like, the exciting or challenges, or the exciting parts of challenges of being a brand new team into the league? Um, The excitement is, I'd say, just the fact that you don't know what's coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, everything is new, everything is uh, a different experience to you, right? Like, there's nothing that's normal to it. So everything you do is you're learning, you know, you're getting better in this aspect, you know. And I'd say the most difficult part is the exact same thing, you know. Everything is new. Everything's different, you know. There's no, like, um, there's nobody on our roster that's there to help us, right, or help us what's called, knows what's really going on, which is also why I want to thank uh, a lot of other teams around the league because they have extended that helping hand, you know, um, helping us get on our feet and get started, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I know Ryan and I both came from Ohio state, which is a pretty established team already. Uh, right, right. So it's, it's definitely a really unique position. And I'm glad you guys have such a strong base already and some other closer teams that you can look up to. Um, cool. Switching into some of the more fun questions. Um, what number are you wearing this season, and is there any significance? Um, <laughs> I wear the number 69. Nice. Um, <laughs> so take with that what you will, but truthfully, it's only because I didn't get the chance to wear 12, and 12 is kind of like a number to me because I significant it because that was how old my nephew was when I unfortunately lost him. So that's why I wear 12 for football, 12 for what's called basketball. Oh. I just didn't get the opportunity to wear it for dodgeball, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of have two numbers, just one on Yeah, the yeah I'm about to say it's right there in the back, too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, another one, what are your pre- and post-tournament meals? Um, Pre- and post-tournament meals. Oh, that's a good one. Um, So I'm from Chicago, so I always got to get canes. That's, that's always got to be canes, probably after, before. I'm um, kind of light with it, so maybe like a granola bar, um, something like that nature, yeah. Yeah. And do you have a walk-up song? Uh, Not really, but I, if I had to say one, it would probably be something by uh, probably Lil Durk. Some, some, yeah. Any song by Lil Durk, really, yeah. That always works. Yeah. Well, and is there anything else the league should know about you or advice you'd share to other new teams? Um, if, yeah, uh, so advice I do would say, like, definitely go into it with open mind. Um, don't think like, oh, a lot of people 
think like dodgeball is, oh, what you did in high school or what you did back on the playground. You know what I mean? Like go into it with an open mind, be willing to learn because this isn't the same thing you played in high school. This isn't the same thing you played out at recess. You know what I mean? Like if you go into it with that mindset, not trying to learn from those who came before you, you're not going to last. You know what I'm saying? So it's like definitely be willing to learn, be willing to put in the work to get better and be willing to just, you know, come in and have fun, you know, don't come in with an attitude or thinking you're too high, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's competitive, but it's, it's a great group of people and uh, yeah. yeah, definitely a lot to learn. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to go through some of the questions with us. It's great to get cool. to you better. Um, and we're definitely looking forward to seeing you on the court this semester. Sounds good. Thank you. Totally. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Have a good one. <laughs> All right.